Yo, what's up guys, Diesel Gaming here, back with some more Final Gear. And today I wanna start a new Spotlight character series where we talk about characters that don't really get a whole lot of love, not a whole lot of attention shown on them. Uh, we're not gonna be talking about like the super OP characters like Tasia or Rin, Trita, things like that, characters that you know are really good. I wanna talk about characters and shine a spotlight on some characters that are good Maybe not top tier, but can get the job done. So we're gonna go ahead and start the series off with the main character, Evelyn. So my goal for this series is to highlight characters that don't get talked a whole lot about and i don't want to talk about the characters that we already know are super op so if you guys have a suggestion let me know in the comments down below what units you would like to bring up in the spotlight series and we'll talk about them so let's jump into the game real quick and take a look at evelyn and see what makes her good and why she's a useful unit to have around the first pro to evelyn is she's the first character that you get being the main protagonist of the game, you're gonna spend a lot of time with her in the early game, and you're gonna get some gear that really boosts her early game potential up, and that gear will last you into the end game. And once you reach level 60, you can actually go into her personal story here, and this is where you can farm for her custom mech. Now the benefit of doing that this way is that you can actually farm her custom mech on the side while you're farming for Elizabeth or Virate. So you can actually be farming two pieces of gear at the same time without sacrificing one or the other. What makes this really nice is that you can actually farm for both at the same time while trying to pick out those two secondary stats that you want on the custom mech pieces. So farming for her custom mech is really easy and simple and you're gonna be kind of doing that along the way anyway while you're leveling up from early game to mid game to end game. Thanks to Evelyn's bond reward since she's an SR and she gets those five five dupe sequences she's actually pretty easy to go ahead and get up to five star and get all of her skills unlocked so that's another main for her but one of the cons for Evelyn is she's actually pretty hard to pull dupe sequences for so you're gonna have to waste some sequence cores to get her up to get her talent levels up now one of the things that makes Evelyn really great as a unit is that she is a crit damage self buffing monster so as you can see I don't have good gear on her at all there is like all single substat pieces. They're all level 60, they're not augmented, no chips, and she is already at a baseline 75% crit chance. If I had her attack up a little higher, uh, she would be doing a considerable amount of damage and I would probably have her on my team too. However, I haven't really built her because I have other units that I'm building at the moment, but yeah, she can actually deal out a considerable amount of damage, even though she may not be like tier one or tier two. Some people call her tier three. Some people call her a tier. It is what it is. But her damage, while good, it's not going to compare to the OP characters, but it is going to be enough to push you on into the in-game content and even high enough that you could comfortably put her on a team two. Now, going back to talking about her self buffing and her crit chances, you can see she has boost crit, boost crit chance and boost damage, deals 30% more damage to enemies while below 30% health, standard attacks have a 50% chance of boosting damage by you know X amount of percent for five seconds and that can stack up to three times she can actually be a very good finisher because once uh, an enemy is at low health she's gonna deal an increased amount of damage to them so she can help finish off low straggling units and her last skill boost damage by 11% critical hits have 14% chance of boosting damage by 40% 12 for 12 seconds so this again all my skills are level 3 so they're not max but as you can see she's gonna boost her damage she's her crit chance are going to boost her damage even more so she's self buffing she's got a high crit chance so she's going to be proccing this stuff all the time and on top of that if you go ahead and invest in her and you bring her all the way up to ur she's going to get that deals two times damage when she's below 90 percent hp so this is going to be pretty much active at all times so if you invest in her she will carry you on into the end game and you will be able to clear content with her now i want to make it clear i'm not suggesting build evelyn over Rin or Tasia or whatever however if you're a free-to-play player 
she is a very viable option that can really help your progression out. And another thing that makes Evelyn really great if you invest in her is her passive talent. So she actually has shield shredding capabilities. Once you've invested the talents into her, she's gonna deal extra damage to those shielded bosses and those shielded enemies. So my final thoughts on Evelyn. Evelyn is a fantastic unit. If you're free to play and you have no other options, you can pair her with Virate, Snowy or Elizabeth and Solveig or Schmilly if you have her and she's gonna deal excellent damage she is great paired with fire rate and Elizabeth or Snowy she's gonna deal enough damage to catch you into the or get you into the end game she's gonna get you there you might not be topping the leaderboards with her but she's gonna get the job done and that's what makes her great is you don't have to spend any money to actually utilize her now the cons of her is you know again her it's gonna take more investment to get something out of her that you could use like Ren for example and less investment in Ren and she's already going to be outperforming her but you have to pay the money to get the OP units so at the end of the day Evelyn is a great budget option if you're starting late or you're free to play or a low spender she's great in your main team or even in your second team investing in her is only going to increase her effectiveness and her damage output she works great alongside of a shooter and make sure that she has somebody that can shield her because she doesn't have any kind of self healing capabilities and her defenses aren't the greatest but overall I think she's a fantastic unit especially for being the main protagonist of the game she does doesn't feel weak she's sufficiently strong and you can farm her custom mech indefinitely until you get those coveted two status substats but hey guys that's just my opinion on Evelyn let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about Evelyn what do you guys think about the spotlight series are there characters that you want to see in here let me know and that's gonna wrap things up have a great day guys and as always I'll see you in the next one